Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Burton Borders. And today I'm going to be talking about Mason Mount and why he divides opinions of so many different supporters. Welcome to the Burton Borders. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah, we are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah, we're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. Like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. So, guys, I've been not making many videos because if some of you who haven't been awake or alive or don't know what's happening, it's the World Cup, and there are four games um, to watch uh, starting from 10 o'clock in the morning right through to 7 so I'm sure that you're having your feast of World Cup football so um, many of you probably haven't got time to watch YouTube videos or maybe you do but I don't know so I've been kind of um, having a bit of a break whilst taking in the World Cup I just finished doing this video now I just finished watching the Belgium Morocco game and Hakim Ziyech putting a masterful performance in a 2-0 display so some good performances and not so good performances by Chelsea players um, in the World Cup so um, Ziyech as I said played really well um, Pulisic against England a decent game great first half against Wales as well Mason Mount Sterling played well against um uh, it was it Iran when we won 6-2 some people said, were saying that he wasn't playing not so, he didn't play so well Mason Mount I'm talking about against USA but obviously this video is to talk about Mason Mount so I'll be talking about him just a bit later let me just look at some of the other performances um, Mendy was wasn't great in the first game his mistake cost um, Senegal a goal but he made a vital save in their victory the other day um, in other t um, players to have played Thiago Silva is well he's Thiago Silva isn't he, he just puts in his, his, his um, 8 out of 10 performances see week whether it's playing for Chelsea whether it's playing for um, uh, Brazil it doesn't make any difference for him that guy is just immense all around Kovacic is playing a bit later today he did okay-ish um, in their first match um, but yeah we'll see how he, he gets on um, against Canada um, who else is it? Havertz. I wasn't that impressed by Havertz, to be honest. Scored a disallowed goal, and he's, he's like Chelsea. It just feels that you can he can offer a bit more when he plays in this shock defeat against Japan. Um, and I can't think of anyone else who's playing. I'm, just, I'm sure there's some guys I've missed out, but those are just a few players um, and how they've performed in the World Cup so far. But anyway, let's go on to Mason Mount. Um, and um, this is there's a report by Matt Law, which I will add to the um, description field, um, because um, he just splits opinion, divides opinion between um, not only Chelsea for the fan base, but the, the the English fan base as well. And it's a case of some people think he, this guy is world class. Some people think that he's just protected and he's not good enough. And you know, got good enough for Chelsea, not good enough for England. But, you know what, I'm just saying that anyone who doesn't think this guy is good enough doesn't really understand football. Because I keep saying a lot of fans, they just judge football footballers on the silky skills, um, the you know, all the techers and everything else. They, they, these ones who don't rate him, they don't look at the tactics of the game. They don't look at the off the ball work he's doing, like the, the things like pressing, cutting out the passing lanes, um, the, taking on tactics by the manager, um, doing doing that that roles really really well. Okay, I admit, even myself, I'm frustrated at times with his final ball because sometimes I think you know he had an eighty percent pass success rate against um, America, um, the USA, and some of his you know his, his through balls, um, his, 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 his passing between the lines. You know, sometimes it's not it's not great. Sometimes his decision making is not great, and I've, I've I've always been one to say that I think he can improve in, in that aspect of, of you know the, the making the, the making the right calls, but. Um, as a overall player, as a as a, you know, as a team player, he is somebody who, who has to be in, in your in your side. You know, you can't have um, ten Neymar's, for instance, in your side. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You need balance. And what um, 
what it, it, it makes a mount does it does provide balance for the side and all these managers can't be wrong because um every obviously everyone thought he was frank lampard's pet and that's why he's only playing because of frank lampard but then hackham's um then um Thomas Tuchel came and remember he dropped him for the first game against Wolverhampton Wanderers he brought him back in the next game and after that he was a mainstay under Tuchel as well he's a mainstay on the Potter he's a mainstay in the England side and if you and as I said I put the um, article there but if you haven't read it if you don't want to read all the article and just want to look at some of the, the main points one of the main points which came out of this article is Matt Law asked a you know to, to get an unbiased opinion he's asked a manager from a top six club about his opinion on mason mount and it's a foreign manager so if you look at who's in the top six it's got to be it's you're either looking at um arteta you're looking at uh guardiola you're looking at jürgen klopp or you're looking at um antonio conte so four Good managers here, you know. We've got three top class ones, um, and in Arteta is learning the rope still, but he's got um, Arsenal on top of the league. And this this manager said he doesn't understand that the hate he's getting. He's he's somebody who, who could fit into any team in the world, and um, he's somebody who can offer you a lot. Um, in the in, you know a, a lot for from from a, a manager's point of view. So. The, the fact that people don't, don't, don't rate him, as I said, people don't look at the game is in its entirety. A lot of fans, they just look at what they're doing on the ball when they've got the ball. They don't look at it from a coach's um, point of view. What are they offering? You know, off off the ball. You know, what what sort of positions do they take up? And that's what Mount's quite good at. He's quite good at taking up great positions. He's quite busy. He's very, as I said, um, he's very, very press resistant. He's very press resistant. He's very good at um, start triggering the press and these sort of things that you need that those sort of players in in your side. You know, to have that that balance in in the team. Um, yeah, sometimes not so pretty on the eye, but he has got skill. So some, that's what I understand. He has, he has got some, some skill. You know, I've seen him do quite a lot of decent things on the ball as well. You know, but as I said a bit more consistency with his, with his, with his passing. But even though I say a bit more consistency, but if you're looking at him also, if you're looking at him compared to all the other Chelsea players in the team, he is still, um, highest for, for assists. And goals, I think, out of the, the players who, who are there at the moment. So, um, last season, I think he finished as the, um, top goal scorer and assist maker in the Premier League, and double digits with both. So even those stats are, you know, when you compare them with what we have is, 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 is higher. And has he had a good season this season? He could do a lot better. I think it's because he's, he's overplayed a lot. I think he's a bit tired. I think he can do with a rest sometimes. But, you know, to say that he's a terrible player and all those people who say, all those fans who say that he's a terrible player, you know, they just don't get it. They just don't get, get full. So what is, what's your opinions on, 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 um, um, Mason Mount? I know that he does split a lot of um, opinions. Are you off, are you in the camp where, you think he's a good player or do you think that Chelsea can do better you know and and all you like me thinking that he is although he's a good player for me as I said I don't think he's a world class player but he's a good player and um who's he, he can improve in certain areas but he's somebody that I always would like in our team so yeah stick your comments in the section below and don't forget as always to like subscribe turn on all post notifications to be notified every time i make any video until then guys take care bye, -bye.